and dancing with grief tonight and uh, <laughs> amazed at how dark it can get and how quickly things can transition from one moment to the next each day. <laughs> that I can have these, these heights of love and connection and um, inspiration and then I can dive into grief and um, contraction and just it's like none of that exists my mind starts to go into really dark places and like do I even want to be here kind of kind of spaces and then I just had a moment of recognizing that and then starting to laugh at it and then being like wow bravo <laughs> bravo life for this roller coaster <laughs> like wow how can I go to such extremes so quickly <laughs> like <laughs> it's like I'm too fascinated to stay stuck for long because it's just I'm in awe <laughs> of how contracted my reality be can become, how how blind I become to love and how there's this tunnel vision. And then I had the thought, like, who am I to say that, that anything's more real than anything else? Because in that moment, that is what's real, that, that it's fucking dark and it sucks. And I started spiraling into... You know, I think part, part of what triggered a deeper um, communion with grief was I was watching a show and the guy got put in a um, psychiatric ward and it just looked so incredibly miserable that I thought to myself, I could see myself going fucking crazy in there and like killing myself. I could see that. I could see there being it contracting into such a dark place that I'm like, I can't do this. I can't. I'm out. And really, really diving into the madness of the mind, like how much I, I recognize that madness could just take over because of these moments like this. That's where I started to go as I thought of that, like, because it, it was this terrifying thought of, I can't, I can't spiritual my way out of that. I, I don't think that's just going to play out. That's just going to happen. And it, it might be the fucking worst thing ever. And I can see how people get to that dark place of wanting to commit suicide because you can get so contracted into that one experience that, that it just feels like that's all that exists. And it gives me compassion for people that are there, that, that like are there temporarily or more permanently when we go into those places that that that's that's all there is and it's frustrating to think that people say no it's not real just go to the go back to the light it's like it is real experientially it's real it's happening and in those moments there might not be a way out we think we can control everything it's not my experience It's like this sense of let's give some respect to that fucking <laughs> the intensity of experiences like that and stop acting like they're not real or we can bypass them or get out of them or that something's wrong with us if we're in them. They happen when they do. Hmm. 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 
Somehow I come out laughing. <laughs> and sometimes it seems that there's a correlation between the deepest fucking terror and the biggest fucking laughter. That they seem to go together. And that's what they say that we're crazy. We're going crazy.